arrived at school, we're just on our way out, just around the corner, I think, to do some more bubbles like we tried the other day. It was a complete failure the other day, if you didn't see. We couldn't do it. Hopefully we're better today. <laughs> but it didn't happen. It got rained off. Although, I mean, it's like a tiny little bit of spitting, but we're going back inside. We should stay out in England with this. It's hardly raining at all, is it? It's spitting a bit, and it's like it's stopping now as well. But we're going in anyway. We're all done in school for the morning. We're just about to go home or have a little wander around. And Stephen's just requested that we go to, do you remember that like burger place, Lotteria? It's in the metro, just by the school. Just ask if we can go there for something to eat. What? Pizza Hut. There's a Pizza Hut as well. We might go to Pizza actually for lunch. We're not sure yet. We're both quite hungry really. Are we? Starving. Starving, yeah. We haven't had anything to eat yet. It's like 4 past 11, we haven't eaten all day. We never have breakfast here. We should really like bring something with us, like an apple or something, but we never do. First stop. We need some more cash, we've run out. Grab the cash, let's go. This is inside Metro. This is our little local shopping centre. It's like dead all the time. No one ever shops here, I don't think. <laughs> They're pretty though. Um, ooh, toy bit. This is the clothes floor, I think. Next floor. This is the furniture floor, methinks. The last floor, all the food. And then okay. Pizza Hut, KFC. I never saw KFC last time we were here. On an arcade, yeah. We're going to Lotteria. I really don't want to go there. There's nothing for me to eat there. But I don't really want Pizza Hut either, so I guess I'll just get some fries or something and then I'll get some food when we get home. Food's finally arrived. They're not salty. No. No. Mm -hmm. All done. That's the hole. Yeah. Good. We're been an idiot on the escalators. We're done. We're going to head home now. I think we're going to go shopping. I need some like conditioning for a little bit, but we're going to go after school instead. Come in. Stay home. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit windy. We are back at school for the afternoon. All done for the week. Yes. You please. We have got back home now and I'm just doing a little bit of research. I'll tell you something that has really been annoying me whilst we've been away for like the whole of our travels is the whole food thing. Because I really do want to try the local foods and things. But obviously being a vegetarian, I haven't found it very easy at all because most dishes have meat in and I don't know kind of how to ask for them without meat and things and it's just not a thing that they particularly do is not have meat in their dishes. I was speaking to um, a couple of the girls that are also volunteering at the school as um, I think I've mentioned before there's an American and a Spanish lady and one of them, the American girl, is vegetarian and she's been to Thailand and Cambodia I think and she was saying that she found it so much easier in those places than in Vietnam to get vegetarian food. So I'm hoping that as we continue and we go to different places, it gets a little bit easier. I did think Vietnam would be quite easy to get veggie food, but it really, I haven't found it easy whatsoever, particularly. Like, I don't really want to be going, like, I know I've kind of joked about it, like we're going for pizzas and having um, like McDonald's-y type things like we did today at lunchtime. Um, and I don't mind that, but I kind of want to be trying the local food where we are. But obviously a lot of that is centered around meat. Um, so I'm just kind of having a little look at, because we're going, it's Friday today, so Saturday tomorrow, we're going into Hanoi like we did last weekend. I need to book the hotel actually. Uh, actually, I might just go there and see. I'm sure it'll be cheaper if we don't book online. I should have asked last weekend when we were there if we could book again for this Saturday. But anyway. Um, but I'm just researching veggie places in Hanoi like, to try because I want to have Vietnamese food, but like a vegetarian Vietnamese food. And so 
I'm just having a little look into that and seeing what I can find. I've got, I'm on um, Happy Cow. Happy Cow, if you are a veggie or a vegan or whatever, Happy Cow is a really good little app that kind of shows you all the um, vegan places all over the place. And it's really good actually, I use it quite a lot. I have found one place called Jalice. It's called Jalice. Look, it looks quite nice, but it, again, but it's like, it doesn't look, it's not particularly vietnamese like they've got pizzas and things and burgers that's not all i want i want a ph i think that's how you say it a ph p h o which i think just translates as noodles it's like a traditional um thing and i really want to try one but i don't know i might ask actually the person we're staying with whether that is such a thing as like a veggie or whether you just kind of ask for what you want in it or I don't know I'm gonna I need to make more of an effort with the food and trying the local stuff though definitely we have just eaten our tea at home it was delicious we're just gonna have a little wander out and about it is about half seven ish a little wander around the local area. I don't think Stephen's been out of a night around here. Yeah. Have you? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, for like a little wander. So, a little wander around, like, because we normally just do the same old walk, like from here to school, here to school, and back again. And so, just gonna like explore down a few little back alleys and things. I came out for a little explore the other night on my own. Stephen didn't come with me. And I did vlog it, but it didn't end up making it into the vlog because it, I just talk garbage. I generally do anyway, but I was saying that it kind of, everywhere kind of shuts down after seven o'clock around here. There doesn't seem to be anything kind of going on. It is, what, like half past seven now? This road that is normally, when we walk to school, it's normally like completely like hustle and bustle, crowded area, crowded street. There's nothing going on because there's this uh, building here it's like a massive indoor and outdoor market to be honest we haven't been inside we keep saying that we'll have to go inside and see what the market's like inside but like outside there's loads of like there's fruit and veg stores and stuff oh my goodness the one they've fallen down that hole there's holes everywhere in this place um yeah it just seems to just completely die off at like seven o'clock but we'll see we'll carry on wandering for a little bit This street looks a bit more like a happening street to this time of night. A bit busier. Oh, look what we found. Like a little cake bread place. <gasps> Donuts. Oh, it's a minion. And Barbies. Hello. Wish us luck. We're crossing a busy ass moon in the dark. Starbucks. Did I say toffee? Uh, yeah. I meant coffee. <laughs> yeah. Talking of Highland toffee, I would love some Highland toffee right now. I used to get. Time. No, I didn't. I used to always get a bar of Highland toffee on my way home from school when I was like 14, 15, and I thought it had gone out of out of service. What's the word? Out of production or whatever. And then we found it like about a year ago in the corner shop and I introduced Stephen to Highland Toffee. Oh, it's so delicious, isn't it? Mm, so, not, not so delicious. I think I it's so like delicious. It. No, I love it. Oh, I love Highland Toffee. This is just messed with me. You're coming, right, I'm, I'm walking on the pavement and I'm going onto the road and it goes up and I've just completely fallen over. It went up instead of down. 
Oh, that is a huge step. The road shouldn't go I... up from the pavement. Are we going? Hang on, hang on. Can we do this together? Oh, Christ. Hold my hand. We're going to attempt this part, then. This could go wrong. I don't think we should. I think we should go for a separate part. There's a separate part on the other side. I don't know whether that, that would make any difference. Yeah. Oh, we should have gone them through this van there. I know, that's where the same go. Okay, okay, okay. in this country for goodness sake <laughs> whoa 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 just like goes right down oh this place looks pretty nice we're gonna have a little wander little gardens type thing or something do you like gardens i love gardens do you love gardens no it's turned off why are they turned off oh that's pretty it's got lights in it Oh yeah, it has. That'd be nice all lit up, wouldn't it? Sitting down? Okay. How long do we wait for? Sitting down too. Are you finished with this fountain thing? Yeah, I'm finished. Okay, let's go. Yeah. This dude's doing something interesting. Lady. The lady. Twists. <laughs> the other morning, oh no, not the morning, the other evening on my run, I saw these beautiful flower arrangements. And I'm going to show you Stephen them now. And I'm going to show you as well because I don't think I had my camera at the time. Or I did have my camera, but I just didn't shoot it. Like, Loads of flowers. Yeah. yeah, just turn left here. Oh, see, aren't they beautiful? They were. Oh, sunflowers. I love sunflowers. Oh, look at all the debris that they've tossed. No, it was these ones, like the big uh, arrangements like that. Look at them. They're fancy smancy, aren't they? Why haven't got what? Why haven't got what? Bushes in your belly. Pepper bushes in your belly. Stephen eats, you know, like bell peppers. The seeds inside, he eats the seeds inside. And I've always told him from like being a, like a little kid, like baby. That if he carries on eating them, because I don't know whether they're good they're for you or not, to be light. honest. But I've always said if he keeps eating them, he'll they grow um, bell pepper plants inside his belly. We can always just go like that. <laughs> go like that on its stomach. Uh -huh. Let the light in and you'll grow a, a bell pepper plant in your stomach. Don't and think that's how it works. There's a poker stop around here. Hang on, there's a poker stop around no, here. I've run out of poker balls and I need to poke poker stop thing. Me and Steve were just having a little chat. There are three things. I can't hold up three fingers in front of my phone. Three things, three things in life that I'd like to be able to do. Number one is 
to be able to squat like this with your heels down with my heels down number two is to be able to do that i think it's on something like charlie and the chocolate factory or something or some film no simon oh my goodness and no. hello um simon some kids program that we used to watch and at the end of it they used to walk off and simon and the witch and they used to like kick you know where you kick your legs out to the side this kick to be able to do that i'm gonna learn how to do that and the third thing these, these are in order of priority by the way the third thing that i'd like to be able to do is to speak spanish so one is fluently, fluently yeah fluently because i can speak a bit of spanish but fluently so number one is squat with my heels on the floor number two is sidekick number three is speak fluent spanish they are my goals in life what are yours let me know what are your goals he has no goals he has no goals You've always got a hot We'll see you guys Hi. tomorrow when we're going into central Hanoi, I think. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. You know what I'm